Life is slowly getting back to normal here in Randolph County after floods last week, but the National Guard and other organizations still have a ways to go before the recovery is complete. Mud, tree stumps, and other types of debris were a common sight in some of the smaller communities in Randolph County. The town of Job, just a few miles outside Harmon, was actually hit twice with flooding last week, once with the rest of the area and a second time as rain continued. Residents there are still digging out with the help of the National Guard. Uh, the residents of this area was washed out. Um, as you can see, when the uh, floodwaters came down, it destroyed their roadway, and right now we're removing debris from that. Uh, the silt that has been washed onto the, the, uh, the shoreline. Back in Harmon, things are beginning to get back to normal. The senior center is once again serving its regular meals to senior citizens in the area, but it's still a central location for people to get supplies and for workers to grab a meal. Everyone is starting to kind of get back together. They have, we're in cleaning mode. Now a lot of people are to the machinery. That's, they need machinery work done and things like that. State road is still cleaning roads. In the meantime, the National Guard continues to deal with some of the heavier work that needs to be done around the area. As roads and other infrastructure get repaired, they're hearing more and more about other places that need help. Uh, we're getting word in as, a, as those things happen. Mm -hmm. um, they're getting consolidated with the EMS station and they filter out down to us and then we uh, we go from there. Projects like these will continue for the foreseeable future. There's no deadline set yet as to when the work of the National Guard will wrap up. Reporting in Joe, Randolph County, I'm Alex Hines for 12 News.